could use it in a song, and when he gets slapped is when they're like, when it when the when he hits like the symbol or whatever the the snare coming back into a song. Yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of videos to make. Yeah. Totally. Hello Kickstarter and the rest of the world. Uh, my name is Clay and I'm the drummer for Deaf and Poor and we are getting ready to go on our first ever tour. So we're asking for a thousand dollars. Getting packed up for the tour. Alex! Are you ready for the tour? Richard's super jealous, but in a good way. He was like, man, if y'all need anything, you need any equipment, extra symbol stands, anything, just hit me up. I don't think I still think that my boom stand and then I bought a long time ago and I was in my build is there, but I don't know. Concentration. This is all unnatural, non-organic. Really? It's cool. It's also, it also increases the cortisol production from your adrenal glands, which makes it stress, like that's the stress that. hormone. That's the stress hormone. So it increases stress in your body. And that was science class with This has been Dr. <laughs> Dr. Parker. <laughs> This is Clay, the science gay. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, how do you feel practicing for the tour all night? You see it, bro. Would you like some coffee? I'm good, man. Okay. Oh, it really took it out of me. This is Cody, our main man. Road manager. Say what's up. What's up? Say hey. Hey. Now I can use either one. Hey! There you go. My biggest influence is always my father. He, uh, he played since he was 16 years old and I always wanted to play in a band with him and I thought the best way to do that would be to start like he started, just picking it up one day and, and getting after it. I was 14 years old. I started two years earlier than he did. In fact, I played acoustic first. My first acoustic was a was an Alvarez bluesman, and I still have it, and I, I play it every day, just about. Just arrived at the Lawn Mule. I need another one. I don't know why they're There's stickers that. everywhere, fan stickers. Oh, you just put it on that? Huh, <laughs> Jaguar Andy. That's who we're playing with tonight. I love you, bro. Yo, Alex. What up? How's the first day of the tour? It's pretty good, man. Hot as shit in here. Hell yeah. yeah. Well, it's making me it's sleepy, sleepy, dude.
Death and Poor has been a band for about two years now. We officially came up with the name, I think, June of 2014, around that time. Uh, but I've been playing with Forrest. I mean, we've been playing together for, I mean, since high school. You know, I mean, I remember we used to, uh, we used to pull up in the parking lot at high school, and he had this old blazer, and uh, he would fold the tailgate down. It was like a hatchback, kind of like this, but it had a tailgate, and. We would sit back there and he would play guitar and I would play djembe or something or tambourine. We'd just have a crowd of people. And sometimes we'd have somebody over there making pancakes or something and handing them out to people, you know, and just playing some blues music, playing some old Robert Johnson, and like some John Mayer groovy stuff. You know, it was, it was a good time, you know. Uh, high school wasn't all bad for us. So, How you doing, man? I say I caught a little bit of you guys on the uh, internet, man. And, oh, really? Uh, yeah, man. I'm gonna go check out this uh, Led Zeppelin thing. It's uh, Jason Bottom. You know, it's John Bottom's kid. You know? Jason Bottom's in here in town? Yeah, he's he's in town tonight over at the IP. Oh, remind me a little bit of Jet. Hey, I like that. Jet. I like that. I mean, yeah. Just a little bit. I mean, That's I, cool. I'm, not, I'm trying to exactly think of who you guys sound like. Maybe the Fratellis a little bit. I mean, oh, that's cool. Like 10 years ago, sort of stuff. But, uh, we love you. Hell yeah. Fratellis. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you guys have a great show. Yeah. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason. Yeah. What up? I'm going to go walk over Levitate. Levitate, levitate, levitate. <sighs> The reason I want to play music for a living is because when I'm doing anything else in my life, all I can think about is mostly writing music. as far as going places and doing things and going to different states, going around the nation, going around the world, which my dad never really got that far. He traveled across the southern region, so southern, southeast region of the United States. So. Do not do the things that you hear in this song. excited about coming to the tour. I think we're going to catch some good stuff. Um, you know, we have a lot of 
kind of weird, funny blooper moments that never really get caught. You know, we're always like, oh, I should be filming right now. But this, we're going to be more adamant about it on the tour. And hopefully we'll catch some good stuff. Maybe some bad stuff, too. We'll see. Jazz house, I just booked it. Is that rent for four? For three. Party time, it was. Oh. And even, if, bad. even if he is, you know, I still got the air matches. So I can just go, hey. For one other guy. Do. If they want us to pay like an extra $10 or something, you just pay it. Sorry. And. That got me all confused what I'm doing. You're doing a great job. I swear y'all could open it's a restaurant. The most beautiful woman in existence. For the best show of the tour, I'm going to have to give it to the Blind Mule in Mobile, Alabama. Um, I really enjoyed playing at the Mockingbird in Bay St. Louis as well. The crowd was a totally different crowd, but something about that show, um, we were just really into it, the crowd was really into it, so... I think that they probably just like, oh, different borders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was dropped out. Yeah, well, that's what you do when you're poor like me. Yeah. <laughs> I had an application to USM and I wrote all our songs on the back of it, actually. Did it work out for you? You drew the logo. I drew the logo, that's right. That's what I did on the application. Yeah, man, it worked out. We've been touring, so we, we actually drove from Houston this morning. So I was saying, it obviously worked out, you're working. We're doing it, man. You're We're working. trying to do it. Let's jam a little bit. Do it up. I try and expand and uh, try and pick up different types of things, different genres of music. I don't really have a preference. It's just playing in general. It's like a therapy. Did you enjoy this show? Bro, it's, it's cool, man. You didn't do what? I didn't record my, I didn't record us last night. It happens, bro. I mean, we actually could have recorded here. That's what I'm saying. I haven't recorded any of it. We need to, like, from now on, like, this needs to be our last chance. I have no regrets about the album. Yeah. I mean, you're right. but, but at the same time, at the same time, we actually could have like we could have really like we could have recorded every single one of them and like just had those. Day four, man. How's it feel? Like a new man. Dude, so you should see this place we're staying tomorrow night. Why? Because it's awesome. We just booked it. Awesome. It's not like a hotel. It's not like a soup kitchen. No, it's not a soup kitchen. When you see it, you're gonna be like, "Wow, this should be my house." <laughs> it's a struggle. I mean, you're broke all the time, you know. I mean, you spend a lot of your money, you know, on gas to go play shows, and then it's, you know, you, you a lot of times you don't get paid what you think you were gonna get paid, and you know, you you underestimate. I mean, you just gotta you gotta bite the bullet and keep going. But you know, at the end of the day, it's why that's why we do it is you know for the struggle. I mean, 
life is suffering, you know, Buddha said that, and I'm okay with suffering, I'm okay with uh, having those down times. Yeah, uh, our last album, we got to produce it, uh, at the time it was our bass player, uh, Russell Thornton, he's got a studio in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, called Listen Here Productions, and he's, he's very good, he's very great to work with, he's got a great ear for music. And uh, he knows what he's doing, and he's you know he's fun to be around sometimes, <laughs> but you know most of the time he's he's fun to be around. But he can get he can get serious, you know, and uh, we like that though. We like that he he can take it seriously when it needs to be taken seriously, and he pushes us in the right direction. You know. I gotta wash my hair. He ran two miles yesterday. He ran two miles yesterday. Oh, uh, someone wore some of your clothes. Good. He's so accomplished. Yeah, I like the artwork in here. It's so awesome. Oh. Uh, um, this back staircase right here leads to my least favorite part of the hospital, but luckily enough for y'all, it's staff only. So unless you guys want to start washing other people's dirty sheets, don't go up there. Sounds good. We're just having woken up from a nap. Normally, <laughs> post nap is really angry. Uh, there is a death service at the hospital, 7 a.m. until midnight. The phone that we have is. Oh my god, I love it! Is Look at our babes! Is it oh, here? Hey, I'm wearing that skirt. Hey, you're wearing Look, that really cool crop top. <laughs> hey, come here. Don't touch me. Come here. No. Come here. No. Come here. Uh, <laughs> earplugs. <laughs> The best advice I can give to a band that's never toured is just be as prepared as possible. The biggest thing is just be prepared and be prepared to be disappointed every now and then. And be prepared for a show to just be totally whack sometimes because that's going to happen but you're also going to have those shows that you did not expect to just be amazing. Honestly, as a band, I would just see us uh, making a living from our music, at the very least. I would like to be worldwide and touring worldwide, uh, you know, probably half of the year, roughly, and then, you know, the other half of the year, relaxing slash working in the studio. You know, I always, I think that, I, mean, I, I feel pretty confident that as long as we're all three alive, we're gonna be making music together, especially Forrest and I. You know, we've never stopped. 
I mean, it's just always been a consistent thing ever since we started making music. You know, I lived in Mobile for a while, and that's, that was kind of like, we didn't really do anything during that, but we were still making music separately, and then as soon as, you know, we were reunited, it was, fire was relit, and it's never stopped. I don't think it ever will. Alex, day five, you loving it? Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. Are these like really? No, no, no. Uh, we bring way too many of them all the time. Oh, okay. Hey, we're on here. Look at that. It's been raining every time we've played for a couple years now, and it didn't even start with me. It started with Clay and his brother, and then it transferred into me and Garrett playing with the Tom Fulleries, and then it transferred again into me and Clay playing in Devonport. Maybe we broke the spell. <laughs> Mississippi, and this is a new song. Go. I've always wanted to play music outside, outside of the boundary of Jones County, of Forest County, Lamar County. I'm just ready to get out of Mississippi for the most part, for a little while. You can find all our music over there in the cubby hole. So make sure you dive in there. I guess the, the band that stuck out for me though was in New Orleans at the Circle Bar and they're called Druids. And they were just amazing. They were amazing people. Uh, that probably is why it translated into their music. I really love that band and I hope I get hope we get to play with them again. Band troubles, man. I don't know how like your cop shows are. You be sitting in the house forever to hit them in the ass in and we're all dead. Yeah, right.
car does not like that shit at all. <laughs> not cool. Brother. Bruh, something. Oh, oh shit. behind me, waiting for a tow truck, waiting for roadside assistance. Headed to Houston, probably won't make it to the night show to be honest. We'll make it to tomorrow night show. As you can see, there's some crazy traffic behind me. Going nuts. And then there's a swampy marsh over here. Yeah. So that's what's going on. Keep you updated. I'm not really sure what the worst thing that happened, you know, I guess uh, the most obvious answer would be the car breaking down, but to me, that was something we needed to learn, you know, we needed to have that experience, and it was stressful, but at the same time, it was kind of fun. Appreciate you, man. Oh yeah, you're the man. You got cash money? Yeah. Yeah. All day, baby. We're musicians, of course we got cash money. Oh, I love it, baby. See, last year, you can play a game to pay for this. <laughs> Get you the game to pay for this. Yeah. Get out there, man. <laughs> hey, man, if we can make some money, we'll do it. Yeah, I'm going to call somebody until here for a couple of days. Where are we going to be going to you soon? The rock and roll? Yeah. yeah. Well, we, got a, we got a show tomorrow in Houston. Of course that one tonight ain't gonna make it tonight. But then we got another one back in Vincent Lewis. Hey, you wanna be in our documentary? Yeah, man. You're alright, man. How you feeling, Alex? Feeling alright, man. <laughs> got some land, man. How's that Kate? How's that uh alligator burger, man? Going back to my father, I always wanted to go places. Both me and my dad always talked about uh, starting a van later on in life, and uh, those were my plans. Show up on time. If you're in a band, you have practice, show up on time. You know, I mean, if you have to get there early so that you're set up, do that. You know, when, I, when I'm getting ready to practice, if we have practice at six o'clock, if my set is not set up, then I'm there at 5.15 setting it up, you know, so that it's ready. So at six o'clock, I'm on that drum throne and ready to go, you know. Um, what was the rest of the question? introduce ourselves individually. I'm Forrest Proctor and I play guitar in Death and Poor and I pretty much do all the work. <laughs> um, you know these guys they do what they can and I really appreciate that. Hey I'm Alex Musgrove, bass player for Death and Poor. I'm here to play bass. 
Okay, he does what he can. <laughs> At least he knows what he has to do. Moral support. <laughs> you got four strings to play with. You're good. Oh, it's five, actually. Oh, it's five. It's I got five. one more to play with. Yeah. Yeah. So you're good with your hands? Yeah, very good. <laughs> yeah. My name's Clay Parker. I play electric triangle and I like to party. <laughs> Technique. It's just kind of a, a random blur. I don't know what happens. I <laughs> come to a white rage. I don't know what happens. Can we? I gotta totally redo this. I'm sorry. I was supposed to be doing something here. Now. Okay. So you get it, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna pick a number. Alex again is here getting very emotional right now. <laughs> oh my I really like Houston. Now we met some really really cool people. Uh, Reach down radio. I got to give them a shout out because not only did they live stream our show so a lot of our fans you know around the south could listen to it they gave us a place to stay um, they gave us just a really good experience so when it comes to the people of Houston you know I really enjoyed that Alex how do you feel about tonight's show be honest damn dude it was different You win some, you lose some. That's about it, man. Pack up and go home. Man. It means seeing the world. It means spreading love through our music. You know, that's really why we do it. We do it to spread good vibes with people, with fans, and, you know, meet people and make connections through our art. That's what it's really about to us, you know, we, we have fun with it and we take it very seriously, but at the end of the day, it's about bringing people together. When it's, when it's at its happiest, uh, <laughs> it's almost like this, like, clean shave dude coming straight out of the gym. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, when you're just done working out and all your muscles are super tense, and it's like, they're at their peak. <laughs>